Thank you for being our shield, our buckler. Thank you for being our shelter in the time of storm. Hallelujah. Thank you for being our peace in the midst of trouble and calamity. God, thank you for being our source. Thank you for fortifying us on every side. We honor you, 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 oh God. We glorify your name. Father, we ask that you would fill this house tonight. Fill those homes that are represented here today through the social media platform, God. Speak a word to us tonight. Reveal your word, the mystery of your word unto our spirits. That we may continue to grow and become full, matured men and women of God in this end time. That you have preordained and predestined for us to be right where you are. Just begin to give God the fruit of your lips in your home, in your car. Wherever you're tuning in tonight, just give God worship out of your belly. And as you worship him, he'll begin to invade your space, invade your territory. To him who inhabits the praises of Israel, that's the name that we call tonight. We call the name Jesus. We call the name Jesus, 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 Jesus. If you have any prayer requests tonight as you join in and as you tune in, we just ask that you receive and place your prayer requests at the, in the note comment section there. And one of the team ministry mem members will be able to assist you and pray and bombard heaven on your behalf. There is nothing that God cannot do for you. There is no situation that he can't turn. There is nothing that is too difficult for God. For the Bible says that with God, all things are possible. So no matter the report of the doctor that you may have received today, no matter what the landlord is telling you, no matter what your job may be saying unto you, we know a God that's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we're able to ask or think. And it is according to the power that works on the inside of us. So if you have any prayer requests, just type them there in the comment section. And as we begin to peruse the comments through the, through the night, we'll begin to lift those requests unto God. For God is not deaf where he cannot hear the cry of his people. We pray like David. Hear our cry, O God, attend unto our prayers. From the ends of the earth will we cry unto thee. And when our hearts are overwhelmed, lead us to the rock. The rock that is higher than I am. Jesus, Jesus, we call on your name tonight, God, we call on your name tonight, Jesus, we need you with the earth, oh God, we need your presence to be revealed, we need your glory to be revealed, reveal your glory, as we bless you, as we lift you, as we crown holy, as we cry holy, as we crown you with our praise, we crown you with our praise. And there is nothing too hard for you. You are greater than any vaccine, God. For you are the greatest physician. You created man. And Psalm 24 says that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The Lord and they that dwell therein. Hallelujah. We belong to God. We belong to God. We belong to God. of me and more of you is what I need. Show me your glory, yes, show me your power, less of me and more of you is what I need. Everybody say, I need your glory. I need your glory. I want your glory. I want your glory. Say, less of me, less of me, and more of you is what I need. Show me your glory. Show me your power.
show me your power. Show me your power. Bless of me, Lord. Bless of me and more of you is what I need. Say it from your belly. I need your glory. I need your glory. Is that your declare tonight? Show me your glory. I want your glory. Bless of me, Lord. Bless of me and more of you is what I need. Show me. Tonight, God, we're assembling in your house. Show me what you glory. Bless me, Lord. Bless me in more of you. That's what I need. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me your power. Hallelujah. Bless me, Lord. Bless me. More of you is what I need. Now just take a couple moments in your home, wherever you are, and begin to give God the fruit of your lips. Come on, he said, wherever two or three are gathered together in his name, he would be in the midst. We crown the King of Kings tonight. We're like Moses. We want to see your glory, Lord. Not for another emotional experience, but we want to be changed. We Transformed. We want to be renewed in our minds, and that's what your glory does. Your glory changes us on the inside, your glory transforms us on the outside. Everything that's not like you, your glory is celebrated and called us to mature in the things of the Spirit. I need your glory, I need your glory. I want your glory, I want your glory. Here I will shy less of me, less of me, and more of you is what I need. Show me your glory, glory. Show me your power, show me your power. Less of me, less of me, and more of you is what.
Father, we ask that your kingdom, a release of its opulence, a more than enough release of its counsel and its wisdom, give your people, the saints, strategic assignments and alignments, end time anointing. Give us apostolic solutions for global issues, we pray. Give us a rhema word that will bring prophetic definition, that will bring clarity of understanding. Grant the utterances in the Holy Ghost, I pray. She. Give us the Lord's word. Give us the word of the Lord, we pray. In the name of the Lord, we pray. Woo, God, I pray. In Jesus' name. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We've been teaching the last several classes on from the book of Revelation, dealing with the judgment of the great whore. It's and it's a system that is geo, it's global, it is political, it, it is ecclesiastical. The involvement is so interwoven. It's, it has a flavor of papacy, it's, it's, Paul said it better, he said, for the mystery of iniquity. You know. Some things are very obvious, but when you deal with global iniquity, it's, it's, sometimes what is obvious is what deceives us. It's, it's, iniquity, the sponsorship, it's, we see the outer workings and the cumulative results but the seeds of iniquities go deep, deep within, within the abyss, within the mind of Satan. The Bible says that Satan is the prince and power. He's the god of the cosmos, the system. And so here we stand, the ends of the ages, the ends of the worlds, cumulative, have come unto us. So now we deal with present tense decadence, former decadence, Decadence that should have been dealt with in former years, former ministries on the former anointings, and now all of this. But, but the flip side of that is that we have cumulative anointings, and uh, we formulate strategies that are born out of a plethora of previous revelations we, we extract from, we extract from examples, teaching modes of God's people, how they live for God, how they fail God, the result of living for him and, and the result uh, of, of failing God. So we, we, cr we look at these models, these paradigms, and then we know that God does not change and that, that the wages of sin never changes and the gift of God never changes. And so we extrapolate we extract, we exegete from the historical narrative and we exegete from the biblical text and we arrive, we, would do, we, 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 we arrive at a conclusion that we're in the last days and we conclude that as in former dispensations, Man has always failed God, 
And, and each dispensation, a dispensing of time. And that, and that time that God dispenses, God releases the word. Now, here is how you live in this hour. And we find that ultimately without, without failure, it's a paradox, it was with failure, but without exception, man has always failed God. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, and verse number 3 and 4 says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. Well, here's, here's what's happening. Uh, church attendance, uh, not church membership, but true worship, true dedicated people of God. Uh, there's been a declension in, and, and we say, well, there are churches that are growing, but oftentimes, when there's, a, when there's a surge of attendance in one place, then there, there is a decrease in another place. My, my uncle used to say that we're just swapping backsliders. And, and, and so, there must first be a falling away. Well, the great falling away is a sign of the end time. You know, uh, because iniquity abounds. You know, there's sin. And then there's transgression, and then there's that bold one, iniquity. You know. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the scripture says God will not hear me. And, and because, it, because sin shall abound, it's just, what does it mean sin abounds? There's an abundance of sin. You don't have to just go to places that are known just for sin. You don't have to just go to sin centers or citadels of sin. Sin abounds everywhere. Sin's in the church. Sin's, sin's in the policy of, of the politics. Sin's in the politicians. Sin's in preachers. Sin's in their messages. Uh, it's sinful when preachers licensure, grant licensure to people, you know, uh, 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 to live a loose, lascivious life. If lasciviousness, which means loose living, if that is not checked, then that entity ends up in what the scripture calls is a state of apostasy. And if we're not careful now, uh, uh, the mind, the soul, the corporate mind, the corporate soul of this, of this America has been deafened uh, and desensitized to the voice of our great God. Oh, yes, there are John the Baptists that are crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord and make his path straight. There, they are the Isaiahs and they are the Jeremiahs. They are the weeping prophets that, that are saying, oh, that my head was full of water and my eyes were a fountain of tears that I may weep for the slain of my people. There, they are, they are the Moseses with the apostolic rods that are parting seeds and that are bringing judgments upon systems. But the corporate, when I say the corporate church, I, that's inclusive of, of anything that calls itself church. People, steeple, pews, and views. Because we understand that God's calling a church out of a church, a remnant. He says now uh, that, uh, that they, they shall not come except that first be a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Watch this. This son of perdition is the Antichrist. And, and who opposes. Here is when you know that any entity, any person has the spirit of perdition upon them. They oppose and they exalt themselves above all that is called God. Or that is worship. So that he as God sitteth in the temple of God. Now here's the Antichrist. He, 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 he has that spirit of, of he's a, a very controversial figure. He, he contradicts everything that's righteous and holy. What God calls right, he calls wrong. What God calls wrong. And then you get a corporate buy-in. 
You see, money magnifies your message. Whoever has the most money gets the biggest microphone and gets the most amount of airtime. And people just believe because it's said enough that it must be true. It must, it must be real because, because so-and-so is saying it. Well, that's one of the signs that uh, of... Now, the key to understanding this hour is found, well, there are several keys, but one of the, one of the keys I'd like to mention tonight is found in Daniel chapter 9, verses 24 through 27. Now, Daniel now uh, has, has, has gone into Babylon just because, because God now has, has used, raised up Nebuchadnezzar, has raised up Babylon to be a whipping, a whipping rod, a chastening rod to chasten Israel in their apostate condition. God's a merciful God. God was just, he sent prophet after prophet, after prophet, after prophet, after prophet, after prophet. The summer's passed and, 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 and we're not, the harvest is passed and the summer's over and we're still not saved. And prophet after prophet, after prophet, after prophet. The whole head is sick, you know, prophet after prophet, after prophet, after prophet. And, uh, but they wouldn't listen. They would desensitize the truth. Because it, it's, it's, it's a sacrificial life that will dare to swim against the current of a popular stream. And so Daniel is told now, 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon the holy city to finish the transgression. Now, when we speak about weeks, we speak about a seven-day week. These are... These are not like Monday, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. These are weeks of years. These are prophetic weeks. And so, and, and so this is actually 490 years that's determined that God is going to use prophetically to bring to bear, amen, the cleansing and, and to bring to bear the fulfillment of his, of his scheme and his dream for the end time church. God never changes his mind. Because God has declared the end from the beginning, saying that my counsel shall stand, and I will do all of my pleasure. And so now, when, when, when God sends, when God brings, he extricates Israel, and he brings them down into Babylon. And, and they're there. Aren't you happy, ladies and gentlemen, that, that even though their, their judgment is in the land, that God has some people, uh, like God told, God told the prophet Elijah, I've got Elijah thought that I'm the only one. You know, when you lose your perspective, when you get the only one blues, you'll get depressed. And Elijah thought he was the only one that was true to God. God had to, had to bring an adjustment to his theology and to his reality. He said, I've got 7,000 more prophets that have never bowed their knee to bow. Don't you understand that, that seven is God's perfect number and that 7,000 is, 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 the, is the magnanimity of God's perfection. You see, I don't care what it looks like. God's got 7,000 times more grace for Coney 19. Hallelujah. God's got 7,000 ways to solve this problem. Just like it started like that, God can stop it like that. If the church would dare to repent, don't use this season, churchman, for a vacation. Don't use this period off your job just to get involved with more next flex and more showtime. Use this time, oh God, to ask the Lord, what meaneth this? What can I do as a vessel unto honor, to mitigate, to marginalize, to negate, even to bring this down? I know there has to be an apostolic solution for this, apost this apostate problem. Use this time to draw nigh to God. 
to get more understanding, more revelation as to how to matriculate and deal, how to navigate through these demonic systems. And so God had a young man by the name of Daniel, one by the name of Hazariah, uh, 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 we call them Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That were, uh, th those were their heathen names, but, and, and, but that was not their God-given names that they had as Jewish young men. But those young men, they stood out. They were light in a dark place. That's, that's why I'm encouraged to tonight. I'm looking at some young folk tonight. My God, that encourages my heart. That, that they have the spirit of Shadrach, Meshach, and the men to go, we won't bend, we won't bow, and if we burn, we'll burn in Jesus' name. And, and they were so bold, they said to the king, oh, king, we're not careful as to how we answer you. The God that we serve is able to deliver us, and he will deliver us. But if he doesn't deliver us, we still won't bow. Come on, somebody. I tell you what, if you won't bow, God won't let you burn. Good God from Zion. He'll let you get in the fire. But the fire, my God, will have to honor the word of the Lord that's on your life. And so now they're down and they're down in a place where there's much depression there. They begin to reflect how good it was before they backslid. They, you know, it's interesting. It's interesting now. Uh, 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 church folk used to, used to trade a red hot worship service for a football game. They, they, they would trade a red hot worship service, a shut in, my God, for a trip to the comedy club. In Birmingham, y'all not let me talk tonight. Hallelujah, help me talk, Holy Ghost. And, and, now, God, and, and now God has shut it all down. Mm-hmm. So, come on, he shut it all down. He, he that, that leads into captivity shall be led into captivity. Come on, you, you see now, now you don't have the football game and, 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 and you can't come to church. You can't have it both ways. And you, in this time, we need to reflect that when this thing lifts off of us, my God, are we, are we going to be the way we were? Are we going to enter with procedure and kingdom protocol? Are we going to enter his gates with thanksgiving? Glad to be in your house. Uh, glad to, to be able to greet a brother with a holy kiss. Glad, oh my God, glad to shake your hand in Jesus' name. Talk to me, somebody. Glad for somebody to lay their hands on my sick head and cast the devil of disease out of me come on church you 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 lost what you had uh, and you got what you wanted but what you wanted now you don't have it and you don't have what you had so you now you must reflect that I do I halt between two opinions will I love the world or will I love my God Come on, somebody. I, I got my four folk here. If y'all clap your hands, y'all will sound like the lepers. You'll sound like an army of hand praises and foot stumpers in this house. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And so now God has anointed Daniel with a spirit of excellence. He, he, he is a seer. My God, he is a dream interpreter. And, and so Young Cho said that dreams and visions are the language of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God will speak to you in your dream state. And he'll, 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 give, you, he'll give you a resolution for this, for, for this problem. He'll, he'll give you a key to unlock the glory that will flood this and inundate this environment. And so now God gave this wicked king a dream, but nobody could interpret it. God's man, uh, uh, Daniel, had to give the interpretation as God gave it to him. I want you to know, child of God, my God, that there's a gift in your life 
There's a calling on you. There's an anointing on your life. You have been called to the kingdom for such a time as this. It's showtime now. It's us against them. It's darkness against light. It's sickness against healing. It's prosperity against poverty. My God, it's angels against demons. Come on, somebody. It's fantasy against truth. Hallelujah. But my God, he that names the name of the Lord, let him depart from iniquity. In fact, my God, I feel like having some gumbo. Somebody, I need four hallelujahs. I need two shabaks. I need one Zema. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need about five halils. Oh, my God. Stir it up. Ha, ta, ta. And you got the roar of Judah in the jungle. My God. I said, I said to Prophet, Prophet Bernard Jordan Sunday, I said, I said, I feel like, I feel like I'm birthing a thousand babies. I said, I feel like, I said, I, I've, I've been 40 years getting ready for this. Been, just been getting ready for the fight. Been, been training, been, been, been jumping my rope, been, been, just, been shutting in, been praying in tongues. See, I've trained my spirit by the grace of God. You got to train your spirit to talk in tongues for hours and hours at a time, you got to train your spirit. Your mind says, go back to English. Don't obey your carnal reasoning. You see, your flesh is too nosy. This is spirit business. Flesh is not allowed to access the mysterions of the Holy Ghost. And so, and so now he has this, this dream and, and, and Nebuchadnezzar calls Daniel in and Daniel gets the interpretation and about the head of gold, 90 foot tall, nine foot wide. It's, it's a huge, humongous image. Hallelujah. You know, a lot of folk got an image, but their substance is demonic. You know, and, and a lot of, lot, lot of things have form, have a form of godliness, but not filled with God himself. My God, what God is doing, he's tearing down every false form because he's going to fill the form that he forms. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. God's not going to let man make a form and then demand that God fill it. No, what God is doing, not everything that can be shaken is being shaken. Everything is shut down. I don't care, I don't care how much you paid. Uh, uh, for your football, for your foot. You can't go now. I, I, I don't care what your plans were for a cruise. You can't cruise now. I, I, I don't care what your team was. You can't watch them now unless you watch last year's stuff. God, God has come to town and God is saying, I'm the high chef. And God says, God is saying, God is saying to the global systems like he said to Nebuchadnezzar, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I've, 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 I've weighed you in my scales. I've weighed you in the balances. And you are found wanted. Oh, you talk church, but you don't do church. You talk worship, but you don't worship. You, 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 you read prayer, but you don't pray. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And so God now, God, God is weighing. God's, God's inspecting. God, come on. And, and so you see, so when, when and, and what has to happen, ladies and gentlemen, there will be a release of end time glory. But, but the glory can't be released now until, until the remnant is purified. Mm -hmm. Moses said, I want to see you. God said, you can't look on me. If you look on me, you die. You know, uh, 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 my, my, the, the effulgence of my essence, my, my presence, I'm a consuming fire. And if flesh looked upon the essence of this consuming fire, I, 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 I'd consume you. He said, but, but I give you credit for wanting to see me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hide you in the cliff of the rock and I'm going to pass by and you're going to see my hinder part. Good God. And, and Moses saw the hinder part of God, and he began to write. He saw what happened in the beginning when God created the heavens and earth, seeing the hinder part of God just that. But see, now we are born again. 
We're born of the glory of God, born from the glory, born for the glory. We're sons of the glory. We're carriers of the glory, trustees of the glory. And, and, and we're in the school of the glory. And every time we get promoted, we go from glory to glory. Glory one to glory two, glory two to glory three. Glory as a drummer, glory as a prophet, glory as a minstrel and a teacher, glory as an apostle. We go from glory to glory. Come on, na, 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 na. I come on somebody and, and Enoch, Enoch stayed in that glory school <laughs> Enoch walked in the glory walked with the glory and the glory took him to the glory don't you understand that's all the rapture is it is a promotion out of here in the glory by the power if the spirit that raised Jesus from the grave if it dwells in you it's going to quicken your mortal means death doom come on every time that virus tries to get on you you just start saying glory 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 and the life of god I, I, I said the zoe the life that cannot be killed life that cannot be measured life that can na na my god life that a flip death over and make death back up. If the spirit Jesus was in hell and the glory dropped down in hell and resurrected Christ. Church there's a glory on the remnant of God. It's a wall of protection my God. A pillar of cloud by day and a fire by night. Somebody raise your hand and thank God for the glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you feel yourself fever, just say glory, 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 my na na, na 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 na, glory, glory. The weight, throw your weight around, Lord. Throw your weight around, throw your weight around. There's saints in New York. Throw your weight around, throw your weight around. And then in New Orleans, there. Oh, the, 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 the saints, Holy Ghost preachers down in New Orleans, throw your glory around. Release a glory ball. My God, throw your weight around. Heavyweight. Hey, come on. 19 is a lightweight. Jehovah is a heavyweight. Jehovah, throw your weight around. Don't you understand? <laughs> How? you? We sing about the days of Elijah, but these are the days of Elijah. Oh, hallelujah. I said, these are the days of Elijah. I said these are the days of Elijah. I said these are the days. Let the God that answers by fire, let him be God. Let the God that breaks yokes and heals the sick, let him be God. Uh. And so he shows them this head of, of gold, this this chest of silver, let me contain myself. This, this is my third service today. I did, did two funeral services this morning. I'm a little, little, little tired. And so this chest of silver, and then, then there was the belly of brass and the thighs of brass. Then there were the legs of iron. Then the feet were iron and clay. Now these, this was 606, 606 B.C. Now what happens, ladies and gentlemen, God is showing that I'm allowing human government in the earth to be ruled and run by Gentiles until the time of the end. He says, now Nebuchadnezzar, that gold, that opulent head, that's you, that's Babylon, none like you, none, not, nothing can compare. He said, but, but after a while, there's coming another. Uh, 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 that silver represents the Medes and the Persians. Uh, that was under Darius and under Cyrus, the Medes and the Persians. Cyrus was Darius' nephew, and, and God prophesied about Cyrus 400 years before Cyrus was ever born, called him my servant. Don't you know, don't you know, even when I was reading about Nebuchadnezzar, uh, uh, that, that God can use the basis of men. Matter, matter of fact, sometimes it takes crazy folk to correct saints. Because saints, saints take niceness as weakness. So God said, now, you know, now, so you don't want to hear the pastor. What I'm, I'm going I'm, to I'm see if the police got something to tell you. You don't want to hear your parents. They love you. Uh -huh. They're trying to hit your little legs with a switch. Somebody's going to hit you beside your head with a, you know. And, 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 and so, and, and, and how many know God? God just, you see, 
You see, chastening is part of this walk. When God stops chastening me, then I'm no longer a son, I'm a bastard. But one thing about God, God always mixes in grace with the chastisement. You see, but, but we, we didn't want this chastening. And so now, uh, 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 when after, after the, now, now when Babylon fails and, 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 she, and she's thrown down by, by the Medes and, 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 then, and then ultimately the Persians, and then ultimately the Grecian Empire comes in, and then the Roman Empire, then, then the Roman Empire sp splits the left leg and the right leg, the Eastern, the Papal uh, Eastern and the Western Empire, and then at the end of days where we are now, where we are now, the, the revived Roman Empire, but all of the vestiges of the former empires, Rome, Greek, uh, uh, the uh, uh, Persia, uh, 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 the Medes and the Persians, all of those former, all those former things that were attributable uh, uh, to their opulence, to their decay, to their apostasy, to, to their lifestyle, all of that flowed on down. And you may be in grad school, but you're still, you're still using some stuff you learned in kindergarten. Mm -hmm. you, you, you may be right in a certain way. And, and the kindergarten teacher didn't correct your how, how to hold a pencil. So here you are with a PhD and can't hold the pencil right. You know, you get the work done, but you understand it's, 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 it's improper, you know. Because you don't go to school to be improper. You go to school to be proper, you know. And, and, and so you, you survive not because of, but you survive in spite of. But so what I'm saying is so all... And so now, here we are now. We're down in the toes. Iron and clay, they have no concretions. They don't adhere one to another. You know, you can mix some kind of uh, metallurgical alloys. You can put something in silver, something in, in, into, into iron, and, and something in other metals. But iron and clay, they just, don't, they just don't adhere to each other. And that's what's happening now in this hour. Then Daniel said, I saw something. He said, I saw a stone carved out of a mountain with a hand, and it began to roll. There was a collision. It was coming out of eternity, coming right into time, and it crushed the toes, the iron, the clay. It crushed that whole Gentile system. So what happens is, when that whole Gentile system is crushed, this whole whore system is now being judged so the times of the Gentiles are over and running concurrently with the times of the Gentiles is also inculcated in there is the church age so now when you deal with prophecy you have to be careful that who the question must be asked and answered who is God talking to well when he speaks about uh, uh, something that's going to transpire in the end time that there's never been a time like it before or after he, call, he gives us a prophetic key he said it's the time of Jacob's trouble well the church is not Jacob mm -hmm. see the church is not Jacob Jesus come on suffered the wrath so that we don't have to experience the wrath so, so this, this, this specific trouble, now, now some people say the church will go all the way through the tribulation. Well, we're not here to debate that point, but we are, we are going to be doing some extensive teaching uh, since people are off work. We'll probably teach two, two or three days a week if I can get Torah to get it set up for me. But we need to understand that, that there's only one truth. You know, you know, many questions. There's only one truth. And so, um, some people believe that we, we call, they call themselves preterists. Well, that, that's something that came out of the papal system. Uh, the preterists were people that, that believed that all of the judgments of Revelation and that were found in Zechariah, the spirits of the four, 
or the, or the four horses, all, all of that, they believed that, that that consistently was just happening all along. And, and, and a lot of that was happening all along. And, and some, some who, are future, who are futuristic in terms of the eschatology as to what they believe about the judgment, they believe they put it all in the future. And so some believe that, that, that this great tribulation, the time of Jacob's trouble, this, this, these vials and these, these trumpets and these, and, and these very devastating things. You know, and it's, it's amazing to me that it's amazing to me that as, 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 as awesome as these judgments are, but there's some folk that are just gnaw on their tongues and, and still won't repent. When that heaven rolls away like a scroll and they see Jesus sitting on that throne, the Bible said the mighty men, the chief men, the captains, they'll, they'll run to the dens and run into the rocks to the mountains and say, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth upon the throne? Come on, they'll see this mighty God, but they still will not repent. Now here's the deal. If, if, if when God lifts this virus off us, and I'm believing he's gonna do it, I'm believing that there are folk that are praying right now, that are repenting for sins they didn't commit, re repenting for, for transgressions, that they didn't commit, repenting for systems, repenting for nations, re repenting for families, repenting for patriarchs of families. You know, all, all intercessors had something, had something in common. They, they would say, I and my fathers have sinned. Come on. You see, because a, 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 the good, the bad, and the ugly, we, we don't just appear into ugly situations. We're born into ugly situations, but just like somebody sponsored our birth. Somebody sponsored the environment that we were born into. Come on, church. Amen. And, and, so, and so what happens is the scripture says that, that, that in, in, this, in, in this time and in this season and, and that when, 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 the, when the government of the Gentiles cease, now, 3,500 years ago, well, 3,000 years ago, I guess would be more proper to say, when, well, about 2,700 years ago, 2,000 years to Christ, and about 70, yeah, yeah. And so when, when God prophesied through Ezekiel, Ezekiel 35, 36, 37, 38, all, all that, and, and when, 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 when judgment hits him and they're going to be scattered to the, to the graveyards of the nations, those Jews, you've got, you've got Jews that were dispersed all over this earth, all in South America, you know, come, coming all down in the North Africa, all, all, all on down uh, uh, over into Europe. And, and you have authentic Jews and you have people that embraced Judaism, you know, Kazanashti Jews, the white Jews, and, but, but they are all over in China and that, have that, that, that have that art form of work. They, they may have eyes that look Chinese and their, their, their skin, but their culture, their, you know, they, they know. And so they're scattered to the graveyards of the nations everywhere. Got a lot of men in America, uh, just everywhere, black Jews, Coptic Jews, Ethiopian Jews, just all over, Oriental Jews, just, just all over. Now, God spoke that a time, he said now, Ezekiel was taken in the spirit, up in the spirit. And, and Ezekiel, Ezekiel looks, and, and he looks all around him. He, he said, the spirit of the Lord, the hand of the Lord was upon me. And, and you know what? When the hand of God is on you, sometime he'll take you into some uncomfortable places, some impossible ministry situations. And he asked Ezekiel, can these bones live? Ezekiel said, the bone, the valley was full. Now these were, these were disjointed Jews because of judgment. They had been dispersed all over the earth. And he said, can they live? He said, thou knowest. Then God said, prophesy. You see, any time judgment comes, God will always allow his preachers to know 
And any time it's going to come back together, God will always give his preachers the word. And he said, Ezekiel said, oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. He said, I prophesied as God commanded me. And the bones just begin to hook up. Now, you know, for thousands of years, ladies and gentlemen, the Gentiles ruled. Then all of a sudden, under the Ottoman Empire in uh, uh, 1947, uh, they started coming. Then 1948, uh, Israel became a nation. And, and, and that's why the Bible said, in one day, can a, can, a, can, can a nation be born in one day? Literally, in one day, Israel became a nation again. And, and all that was desert began to flourish and and, and the people begin to come and, and, and just all, you know, it's, it's almost like instinctively in their DNA. You know, they had a desire to leave other parts of the world. Prosperous folk, many of them. And, and they went back to that little, that little piece of land about the size of New Jersey. And, 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 and literally, Mount Zion on the sides of the north, Literally, there's a spot in Israel that is literally, geographically, in terms of latitude and longitude, it is literally the center of the earth. Just like you do a circle. You do the circumference, and, and you find, you get a protractor or whatever, and you find the center. There's a spot in Israel that's literally the center of this earth. And at Israel is God's prophetic time clock. And so ladies and gentlemen, we see that what's happening, Satan understands his time is short. He understands prophetically what's going on. And, and I want to say this before I conclude tonight, that this could not just be released on the earth if we didn't give Satan license to do it. See, the devil has to seek. Where have you been? I've been going to and fro in the earth, up and down, seeking whom I may devour. If the devil could do this at will, he'd do this every day. But you see, we've, we've let our guards down. We've let the standard of holiness down. Come up. We, 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 we get married and we divorce and we remarry and we divorce and we remarry again and there's no biblical rationale. We marry unsaved women, unsaved men. Come on, somebody. And we try to cram all this stuff down the throat of God and tell God, here's your meal, take this. And God said, I don't eat everybody's cooking. Yeah. I don't have a desire for that. I'm a holy God. And so we've given him. You see, Jesus said, the prince of this world has come unto me, but he found no place in me. You know why this, this germ is hitting America? It found a place in America. Why it hit New Orleans? It found a place in New Orleans. Why it hit Italy? It found a place in Italy. Why it hit, why it hit all the places it hit? Because it was legal. You know how the Holy Ghost hit the upper room? They made space for him. God didn't fall in the basement. Hallelujah. He fell in the upper room. Because they went to where they were assigned to go. And they stayed there. Wait until the promise of the Father is fulfilled. God never breaks his promises. I'm praying that God will release an anointing on, 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 on hundreds of us that during this season of downtime that we'll get in this book, that we'll get on our faces, that, that, that we'll turn our plates over even some and just fast and pray and, and tell God, oh, don't give your heritage over to the enemy. Spare your people. Dig around the tree. Don't cut it down. Dig around it. And here's what will happen. A lot of folk are crying now not because they've truly repented. 
a lot of folk are crying now. They want to get out the house so they can get back to their dirt, back to their hoardings, back to their fornication. But some want to get out so they can get back to ministry, back to winning souls. They want to get back to the job because the people that they should have told a long time ago about this apostolic plan of salvation and they compromise at the water cooler. They're saying to God, God, give me another time. And I say it in love, but I'll say it. Give me another time. Let me cross their path once again. I'll tell it like you told me to tell it. Father, I pray now that you might release a spirit of prayer, supplication, a spirit of intercession, a spirit of repentance. Jesus, you're shaking everything. Everything, every one of the seven mountains is being shaken. Commerce, shaken. Entertainment, shaken. Government, shaken. Anything that's synthetic in its origin. Anything that does not dovetail in an agreement with this world. The only thing that cannot be shaken is God's unshakable king. His unshakable saint stand the word. Can handle the pressure. No time to quote Shakespeare. Philosophies can't handle the pressure. Can't have it. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. It's a stone that's literally rolling down through Babylon now. It's gathering speed and influence, intensity and density, breath, height and depth and scope. It's crushing systems. That's resetting economies. That's redefining what people thought. If you really take another look, the deed to the planet Earth, it says God's. The Earth is the Lord's and the fullness of it. Be faithful with your tithing and your offering. Be obedient to your leadership. If they're holy men and women of God, if they're not holy, get out of there like you're getting out of the firehouse. Don't sit on the nasty preachers. I don't mean preachers who didn't make a mistake. If they made a mistake and they confessed their sins, then walking with God, heaven has no record of that night that should be. But if you're in houses of worship, where leadership is dirty, the word is compromised. A degree from Alabama, ASU, Auburn, Tuskegee, UCLA won't keep you against the onslaught. That's these hordes of devils that are coming out of the abyss, these spirits. It's the word of God that Satan honors. And I was thinking about this. I'm finished. What does God love more? than he does his people. And the answer came, he said, I love my word because I and my word are one. God can never deny himself. Use this time to meditate this word day and night where you become a real believer. So to gather, not to gather, to scatter, not to scatter is not the question. Fill the house with people and not to fill the house with people. That's not the question. That's not the, that's not the question. This time we need to examine ourselves 
and see whether we be found in the faith. If, in fact, our repentance is true, when God lifts us off of us, there will be a lifestyle change. What was crooked before 19 will be straight. What we were doing wrong before this pandemic, we'll, we'll, we'll be doing it right. Jesus, we thank you. Have mercy upon us according to your loving kindness. John has given an invitation. Come, let me show you the judgment of the great old Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, I suggest that you go into the scripture to see it. But if you don't have a Bible, go to the mall. Look at your sports arenas. Go by your banks and your restaurants. And you'll see. Look at the school systems that, that kept devils in but put God out. I'll show you the judgment of the great hope. Father, wash us all, cleanse us all. Bless our president. Bless his counselors. Put them under the blood. Keep them under the blood. Bless our governors, our Governor Ivy, bless our congressional leaders in the state house. Oh God, bless, I pray, our mayor, our city fathers, our police chief, our sheriff department, bless. Ota, release the angels to fly through the city. Release the angels. applications, platforms, timing and offering. You may do that. You know what to do. And those of you that are kind of old like I am, that are not, uh, that are not really skilled in negotiating uh, those kinds of platforms, the offices are open here at the panel and at the main campus. You may bring your tithing and your offering by. And uh, everything goes on. put some ice in on our cake, but we must make the cake at night. May the Lord God bless you real good in Jesus' name.